What is the overall love energy for the sign of Scorpio? Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present challenge, and outcome. So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the King of Wands. Now when this, when this refers to love or, or romance, the King of Wands is an excellent card in the tarot. Uh, it signifies that someone you cared about also had protective and caring feelings about you and that they were also willing to work hard if necessary to make the relationship work. You may have been more than usually focused on your work or career at that time, but you made time for romance or you should have, or or you would have ended up with work being the only thing in your life. And the King of Wands is paired with the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles, it's, a, it's another excellent card in, in the tarot with regards to love. Someone may have came along at that time and absolutely swept you right off your feet. Um, so you would have uh, put your best foot forward and made sure not to pretend to be someone that you weren't because this person, they would have loved you for exactly who you were or who you are. So you needed to be honest and everything should have really fell into place. And if you were involved with someone at that time, the relationship probably moved to a more comfortable place. But if you were dissatisfied, you would have needed to say so for things to change in the relationship. Don't expect your lover to treat, don't expect them to read your mind. Don't expect your lover to read your mind. You should not have done that in the recent past. Okay, so that's the recent past, and now we move on to the present. We have a Nine of Cups. This is another positive card in the tarot for your love life. If you're currently in a relationship, it's possible that it's going to deepen, become better, and much sweeter. If you're single, it's a great time to meet people, so get out and socialize. Have conversations with people that you meet that you're not married to. It'll have a great potential outcome. The ideal now is to have fun. Now that's the Nine of Cups and it's paired with the Ace of Cups. Now this is another great card in the tarot. Another good one. So, so far you got four great ones. Okay, so with the Ace of Cups, either an existing relationship is going to take a turn for the better. For an existing relationship, it could... Uh, become a deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It will almost, it's going to almost feel like a new encouraging start for the both of you. If you are uncommitted, a new relationship is more than likely to appear soon. With these two cards paired together, the Nine of Cups, uh, great card, great time for love. If you're Already in a relationship, it's going to deepen, become sweeter. And it's paired with the Ace of Cups. It's also, the relationship is going to turn for the better. It could uh, become a deeper level of understanding and commitment. So, with these two cards, the relationship is going to become better, sweeter, take a turn. If it's, if it's not, if it wasn't going well, it turns around for the better becomes richer, more fulfilling. So two great cards for love and romance. And that's the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Five of Cups. Now with the Five of Cups, a love relationship you are in, it may just end it. Or be about to start the process of ending. You must realize that all is not lost. You're probably not yet ready to move into a new relationship. Give yourself some time and space, then get back out there. There will come a day when you realize that the reason this relationship ended was to get you to a place that you really wanted and needed to be 
which is a relationship that really works for you and works well. That's the Five of Cups, and it's paired with the Six of Pentacles. So if you are already in a committed relationship, the Six of Pentacles points to a happy, fair, generous, balanced relationship for at least a while. So allow your lover to give to you, and at the same time, make sure you are doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. If you are unattached but looking, you are more than likely to meet someone new who is positive, kind, and generous. They may come your way via introduction, by way of introduction from someone you know. So make sure you're letting people know you are looking for a partner and that you're on the market. With these two cards paired together, the Five of Cups, a relationship may be ending or starting the process of ending. Wow, everything's going so well. Okay, so the relationship is ending or it's about to end. Okay, and it's paired with the Six of Pentacles. And it's about a happy, fair, generous, balanced relationship for a while. Okay, it's, it's a, you have to allow your partner to give and take, and then you'll give and take. Okay, so it looks like the relationship is in the process of ending, or it has ended. So the relationship is down and is out. I don't know if you, you guys had a fight, a big fight about something, but it looks that way. So it ended, but then with the Six of Pentacles, it comes back around, okay? It, you two get back together, and the relationship is, is generous, it's fair, and it's balanced out for, for a while, okay? It doesn't say for how long, but for a while. So you, you two have worked things out. It looks like you probably had a fight with the Five of Cups and it ended. And then it, since it's paired with the Six of Pentacles, you two came back together. And it's working out for a while. It's, it's generous, fair, and it's a happy, it, po it points to a happy time right now. So you guys worked it out and you got back together. And if you're single, don't forget to get out and socialize. Because with the six, six of Pentacles, don't forget you're more than likely to meet someone new who's positive, kind, and generous. Who doesn't want someone like that? And they, they'll be coming towards you by way of introduction from someone you know. Okay, so that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Four of Wands. Now when it comes to love, this card can indicate that your relationship it's about to become a whole lot more committed, up to and including possible marriage. If you're looking for love, it shows that special events like weddings, bar mitzvahs, commitment ceremonies, they're all great places to meet someone special now. So if you get invited to something like this and you're single, make it a point to go. And the Four of Wands is paired with the Three of Cups. Now, this card can mean a reunion with a long-lost love. It does not always indicate that. So you must look carefully at the rest of the reading in the context to decide whether that interpretation fits. If you are single, the most likely interpretation is that you will meet a likely love, someone who really fits the bill, of the person that you're looking for. And this this person is going to be a new love. And it could be the reoccurrence of a long lost love. But more than likely a new love. With these two cards paired together. The four of wands. It, your relationship has. It's still going strong. It's become a whole lot more committed. So it's it's taking the turn for the for the better and even possible marriage. So it's gotten a lot a whole lot more deeper. That's good. That's what the four of wands 
and it's paired with the Three of Cups, um, a reunion from a long lost love. If you're single, you're most likely to meet a likely love soon, someone who fits the bill. Okay, so make sure that you are going to any type of special events that come up at this time. Um, the bigger, the better. You might want to, if you're single, you might want to crash a wedding or something like that because it's a great time to meet someone special now for you. And um, someone from the past could be returning also. So this is a really, this is this is pretty good for singles. And actually it's great for uh, someone, it's, if you're already in a relationship. Because it's talking about potential marriage. Yeah, so if you're single, you know, you might want to try to crash a wedding or something. Something really, something of a big extravagant special event. You want to go to something like that. Because it's going to be a great time for you if you're single. And that's going to be the outcome. So Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so much for watching and have a great day.